Well, it's now time for me to leave Gailey. This is where I left you in the last video. And we're going to go from Gailey now up to Penkridge on the red line you can see here on the map. My first lock of the day, Brick Kiln Lock. A lovely new shelter here for stop planks. The only thing is, there's no stop planks in it. I guess one thing at a time. spent the night just moored up above the Cross Keys up here. Now, I'm not going to go very far at the moment, so I'm just going to go down a lock or two and more up again so I'm a little bit closer to the post office when I go and collect some parcels. A little bit less of a carry because I've got a couple of heavy ones to pick up. So here we go. I don't know much about this pub, I haven't been in there. This is uh, Finance Bridge, number 84. A little chilly this morning, but uh, I'm not going far anyway. That's Finance Lock done, block 37. I can leave the gates open, there's a boat coming the other way. One thing I have noticed since I've been on the Saffs and Worcester Canal is that the bridges are a lot lower than they are on the Shropshire Canal, the Shropshire Union Canal. And I'm okay at the moment with the towpath on the left-hand side. If it changes to the opposite side, I might be in problems with my chimney. So I'll have to look out for that because some of these bridges are so low, I might have to take my chimney down. I've just dropped down through Penkridge Lock and I've moored up here near the boat. I've not moored up right outside, I'm actually down the towpath a little bit, so I'm going to stay here for a few days. I have a package coming to pick up from the post office. Oh, good morning everyone. It's rather chilly, rather early. It's just turned 7am and I'm at Penkridge. And my boat's pointing towards Great Haywood. I've been moored up here for a few days now and I'm getting rather low on water. And the next water point is not until I get to Great Haywood. And that could take me three or four days. Bring it back up, back through Penkridge Lock and go to the facilities at the top of the lock. So here goes. I've got to back up past these moored boats. Wish me luck. So here goes. I'm going to show you most of this actually in real time just to show you how tricky it is reversing back up quite a narrow spot boats one side and overgrowth the other side all of you out there that have perhaps driven a narrow boat in the past will know that they don't go in straight lines very well backwards and I don't have bow thrusters to correct any of these inaccuracies Slightly, I want to try and get the boat over to the far side as much as possible. I don't mind touching the bushes a little bit. I'm going to try not to clatter against these boats, of course, as I come back.
I now have the boat over near the bushes, but the problem I have now is it's very shallow over here, so I've got to come back across to the middle a little bit. Yeah, I'm not going quite to plan at the moment, but hopefully I'll get there. At the moment, it seems to be I'm going 10 feet back and I'm going to come 8 feet forwards just to straighten the boat back up again. Hmm, definitely slow work this. The wind's not helping either. As I negotiate my way back through these overhanging trees, I'm passing the last boat at last. So as the three boats pass, locking the distance, I basically made it. All I've got to do now is get the boat into the lock. Backwards, of course. Oh, look, it's worth a cold cup of coffee. <laughs> I don't know quite what happens sometimes. Now I've passed all the boats, I seem to be going back in a nice straight line, no problem whatsoever. Where it was higgledy piggledy, backwards and forwards, trying to keep the boat straight when I was passing. I don't know. Anyway, lock gates in front of me. Probably just going to have to tweak it a little bit. I'm not quite lined up perfectly. And I don't want to clatter against all the walls too hard if I can help it. So here goes. Just about to come in. Camera angle makes this look a lot further away than I actually am. I'm about five feet, ten feet away now with that. Just a little tweak just to put the boat slightly over to the right hand side of the picture as you see it. Yes there slightly. Yeah, that's brought the back end over now. I think now I can probably go back into reverse. Yep, back into reverse we go. Now of course once I get into the lock, I've got to climb up the lock ladder and close the gates. There's no way of jumping off at this lock and running up the side because you've got this bridge in the way. diesel smoking to put save and saw the engine gets nice and warm. You can see it's a white smoke, not a black or blue smoke particularly. So it's not oil. It's basically unspent diesel. That's a bad job, do you? Sliding back into this lock quite nicely. Lock ladder ahoy. That's my way out. That one's uh, too close. I need to climb up from the front of the boat for that ladder or the middle of the boat. So we're going to go back to the one you can see here on the right hand side of your picture. Right there at the top there from the handles one you can see. Time to bring the 
about to stop. me all done filled up with water got rid of my rubbish and i'm now leaving penkridge i didn't film coming back down the lock penkridge is just over here I'm just about to see it through the trees here or the bushes it's time for me to go now i'll see you all in the next video i well, thank you of course all my patreon and paypal supporters everybody for watching and everybody for subscribing if you're not already subscribed please subscribe and don't forget to hit that old bell notification button. That just leads me to say, thank you very much for watching. Trevor out.